Isa. Now, unlike the Boos, Piranha Plants, and Goombas throughout the Mario series, Monty Moles have never got their chance to be major enemies. From this abbreviated list of games, I believe that we only saw them once, and that was in Super Mario Sunshine, who heavily edited the regular Monty Moles, so it kind of doesn't count. So let's just call this their actual debut. It's better than PD Piranhas, to say the least. And unlike everything else from this game, the design of it makes sense, works into gameplay, and is simply fun. It's a Monty Mole, and it has a telescopic tank to run around with. It manages to be the first actually difficult boss of this game, although it probably still won't give you any trouble. The reason is that this boss fight is designed on the player scaling the tank, so contact damage doesn't really exist, which is around 90% of all platformers have for bosses to actually do damage with. What you have to watch out for is the bullet bills the Monty tank launches, but considering the entire concept is to scale the tank and constantly be around the cannons and use them as platforms, it doesn't actually do much to kill Mario to have that be the damage maker, so it's pretty much just a dumb, fun boss fight. The platforming gets fiddly since the Monty tank is constantly moving and swiveling that makes it hard to stay on the tank for long periods, and the Monty Mole only rarely comes out to have a look around as the boss's weak spot, so it requires some timing and dexterity. Basically, it's a dumb fun time sink boss fight that's a nice break from the embarrassing garbage of other worlds. So overall, it's a great first showing by Nintendo for other Monty Mole based boss fights, and that's all you really need for any sort of boss fight.